Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're at Virginia Key Beach Park in Miami, Florida. This is the first time I've been out in about six months since March 2020 because of the COVID-19 pandemic. I thought today what we'd do is we'd have a little walk around and see what it's like here after the pandemic. Due to the pandemic, a number of rule changes have been implemented to slow the spread of the disease. However, apart from those restrictions, the beaches of Miami-Dade County are basically open now. So the plan today is we're going to walk the entire length of the park and we're going to be going over there, over that bridge, walk to the toll gate and then come back over that bridge, back to here and then complete the walk there. It's going to be about five kilometres the walk between there and there and back. So I thought I'd show you around the park and see what's going on. We continue to walk along the Rickenbacker Causeway, which is the road that connects Miami to Key Biscayne, until we reach a first landmark. Behind me here was the Miami Marine Stadium, which was the world's first stadium exclusively for powerboat racing. Since the stadium's opening in 1963, this stadium hosted powerboat racing events for almost 30 years. So why is it like this today? In 1992, Hurricane Andrew impacted Miami as a Category 5 hurricane, which caused insane destruction to this city. The county ordered this building closed since it was unsafe. Ever since then, this building has been closed to the public. I should also let you know that the Miami Marine Stadium also hosted the 2019 Ultra Music Festival, which went very well for the city, I guess. Continuing along the causeway, we eventually come to the William M. Powell Bridge. Right, so this part of the walk, we're going to be crossing the William M. Powell Bridge, which is the main bridge that connects Virginia Key to Hobie Island, where we're going next. But before we cross the bridge entirely, I thought I'd show you this. This was the original Rickenbacker Causeway until they built this bridge back in the 1980s. After a bit of walking, we've made it to the summit of the William Powell Bridge, and this is the view from the top. After crossing the bridge, we arrive at Hobie Island. Okay, so as you can see, we have successfully crossed the William M. Powell Bridge. We're now on Hobie Island, which is a little bit quieter than Virginia Key. And what I mean by that, I mean there's no one around, so there's literally no one here. I have the entire beach to myself, which is incredible. Where can you find it in Miami, having the entire beach to yourself? I, you can't find it anywhere. Anyway, so what we're going to do now, we're going to hang around here for a bit and then we're going to go back over this bridge, back to Virginia Key and end the video there. Before we cross the William Elm Powell Bridge to come back to Virginia Key, I wanted to show you this. This is a very famous shot in Miami and the reason why is because of music videos. Many music artists, particularly from the United States and Latin America, use this shot behind me as a backdrop for Miami. Probably the most famous one being Bad Bunny from Puerto Rico. Unfortunately, our time in Hobie Island has come to a close, so we're going to walk this bridge back up to Virginia Key and end the video there. 